Well, hello everyone again. It's hello. another week. Fran is here. Hello. Yes, hello. How was, how was your week? Good, very good. Mm, busy, good. but good. Busy, but good. I too was a very busy man having my high powered meetings. <laughs> 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 um, but we have just watched some movies. We have two their ve- movies. Two very, very fine movies. I was scared, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> So this week, I picked two Bear Attack movies that came out in the same year. Yes. These things happen sometimes, you know, like White House Down and Olympus Has Fallen. Yes, they're in the same year. Deep Impact and Armageddon. Sometimes the studios just, just, they're, it's like, Keep they're, them coming. It's like they're in sync. It's incredible. <laughs> so we watched two Bear Attack movies from the year 2014 slash early 2015. Yeah. Uh, first film we watched was Back Country by Adam McDonald, uh, star- starring Missy Peregrim and Jeff Roop. Yeah. Jeff uh, Roop was a dick. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> the second film we watched <laughs> was Into the Grizzly <laughs> Maze, um, which was fantastic. I thought it was better, but anyway, we'll get into that. We'll get into which was better. I thought they were both very, very good bear attack movies. (laughs) (laughs) And more excitingly, today, we're joined by the first guests we've ever had on the Paint and Fran podcast. Yes. We are joined by Betty, a bear that starred in Backcountry. Say hello, Betty. Hello, dear. Thank Thank you for joining us. Are you excited to be on the podcast? It's a pleasure. Yes. Good. And we're also joined by Bart, who starred in Into the Grizzly Maze. Would you like to say hello to the listeners, Bart? You're damn right I do. Not often a bear gets to be on a podcast. Well, thanks for joining us anyway, Bart. Uh, so, firstly, well, you know, before we ask Betty some questions about uh, the shoot of Backcountry, I thought you know we'd talk about the movie ourselves. So yes. um, some questions for you, Francis. Thank you. Did you enjoy Backcountry? Um, when you described it to me, you described it as the Blair Witch Project, but with bears. And it essentially was a bit. Yeah, and yeah. it was. It was filmed a bit like that when yeah. she's proper hanging out, all injured. Mm. But yeah, and also then the in a sense, filming her from behind. In a sense, it was also nothing like the Blair no. Witch because I, I thought it was a, one of those found footage films, uh, which is all like, yeah, like it's being filmed from the perspective of of the characters. But it, I think it was it, filmed it, with the perspective of the bear, to a, be honest. A lot of the time, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah, uh, it was excellent. You could tell very low budget. Um, yeah, very low budget. Two people plus yeah. a third. Uh, yeah, there was essentially four characters in yeah. the film. One of which was a park ranger who you ne- who you see in the opening minutes of the film and never and then see never again. see again. And there was an Irish fisherman yeah. that's in it for one scene yeah. <laughs> and a tiny two seconds at the end. Um, and yeah, you never see him again. So it's about these two. It's people. pretty well filmed. Yeah, it's very well. Yeah, yeah. you could you could tell they had you know it was all shot on location out in the woods. Yeah, There's and no, two cameras, you know, I reckon. Two to three cameras top. So yeah. yeah, they they do very well with what they've got. Yeah, it's um, really good. Yeah. What was your favourite part? Oh my god. And why? Um, <laughs> I would say my favourite part was when she actually saw the boat, so she could go home. <laughs> Because I yeah. was thinking, if that was me, I'd literally be the happiest person in the world. So, yeah, and if you haven't seen this film and you're planning on watching it, then uh, pause this, go watch Back Country. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And uh, come back to it because, uh, spoilers, she gets out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it follows um, Betty, like a young couple. Yeah. They go, he wants to take her to the woods. He and wants to take her to like, propose you know, to her, a beautiful but... lake to propose. Um, and they start off nice, having a nice hike, don't they? Yes. And then... It all goes wrong. Yeah, he gets... Well, he gets them lost because he's an idiot. Idiot. Um, Who doesn't take a map? I mean, yeah. what a numpty. And then, yeah, they get attacked by a bear. <laughs> he gets eaten. Um, and Very she, well eaten. Yeah, she barely escapes with her life. Um, <laughs> and that is, that's, that is literally all that happens in the film. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Cause, no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't try and like make it two hours long or something like that. Oh gosh. Yeah, an hour and a half was plenty. pretty long yeah. and enough. Yeah. Um, so, 
Uh, you didn't bother making any a pros and cons list, did no, you? No, because I thought I'd just use yours. <laughs> yeah, so luckily I've made extensive notes. I don't have many. It's very rare on a pros and cons list. I have very few cons. And Normally when my films, you have loads of cons. Yeah, but, yeah, and rarely, like, they're not really cons to do with the film, more to do with the things the characters did that I didn't like. But this is based on a true story, so... Yeah, so it must have happened. Yeah, well, yeah. you don't. They don't have to base it very well on a, on a real story. But, no. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's um, the characterisation of the characters immediately. You know, you get a good sense of who they are. Yeah, they're in love yeah, and so. live in New York by the looks yeah. of it. Um, I want to say we've mentioned that yeah the low budget doesn't seem to uh, hamper Impact the movie it, anyway. No, no. Um, it did uh, bring up the usual argument we have, which is never talk to a stranger while you're on holiday. I always do though. <laughs> you do, yeah. but that's only because they talk to me first. Yeah, but then that's that's what happened to them, and it didn't do them any good. I think he was just trying to puff his chest out a bit, you know, like trying to make himself look better in front of a boyfriend mm. never never talk to people on holiday because they're always weird <laughs> <laughs> Not always. And if you come home from holiday thinking oh we made really good friends with that couple that couple doesn't like you what about that time <laughs> no what about that time we met that couple at the concert and we met them they took photos of us we took photos of them and we sent each other photos yeah but we didn't pretend we were friends forever we're never going to see them again. No. No. That's different anyway. That wasn't a holiday. No, it was a concert. Never talk Gig. to me on holiday. <laughs> um, well, as well, there's a there's a pretty gruesome toenail removal scene. Oh, see, I didn't think that was that well, bad. Well, yeah, because what happens later on in the film, you're like, oh, give me the toenail Ill scene any again. Any day. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, like, he. this my one of my main criticisms of the film is that the main guy... Uh, his name, his character's name, and you can see where it is. Um, yeah, Alex, the main guy. Yeah. Is useless. 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 Doesn't bring a map and a compass with him on his holiday. And he's meant to have spent yeah. how many years in these woods? Yeah. Well, it did turn out that he went. Yeah, it turns out he was lying about that. Lying anyway. about that. He and he went there twice or something. Didn't take the bear spray. He took a little axe, but he, he left it outside the tent when the bear come. I know. What a douche. She seemed better prepared for him. She brought a phone, bear spray, all the things you need. Yeah. I, I would rather go camping with Jen. Well, she did Alex. have her phone and well, then yeah. he put it, took uh, it out of the bag. Idiot. I thought, like, oh, his whole rationale for that was like, oh, you're always on your phone, so I'm putting it in the car. So, like, he mustn't... You know you need a phone as an emergency. Always yeah. have one, just in case. Why Even he if bring... you might not have any signal. Yeah, but why not bring your phone and put it in your bag? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, not Burke. I'm glad he got eaten by that bear. Yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the uh, all the scenes where they're in their tent and the bear's sniffing around. That's pretty good, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, they're like they're scary. It then... obviously was a real bear. Ah, uh, probably not when it's just sniffing around outside. There, they, there was a, there was a bear. That's not CG. No. It's a real bear, apart from when it's, like, eating them. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can tell it's only a head of well, a bear. Well, yeah, that's got to be a model. You can't yeah. set a real bear on someone. No. No. Um, and But it's very, like, you know. Realistic. Yeah, you, you know it's not real. But, yeah, it looks bloody good. When it, she's trying to hold on to him and the bear's pulled his leg. Yeah. And that leads me to my next point. Yeah, the the, uh, the makeup, casualty makeup, top notch. Top notch. Possibly on par with Sicario. I would say, yeah. and Sicario too, which is the best makeup of casualties I've ever seen. When yes. Benicio Del Toro has been shot in the face. Face. That's, that's exactly what it looks like, folks. You ever see anyone get shot in the face? That's what it looks like. Yeah, I thought yeah. I thought um, that scene was very good. It was very gruesome, but yeah. it was very good. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. She makes a run for it, doesn't she? She does, and succeeds. Doesn't, doesn't chase her, though. Hmm. He's obviously chomping away. Yeah. I've got one point I'd like to direct towards Betty. Um, yeah, um, I thought... Yes, dear. <laughs> I thought uh, you were... Spe- in, sp- in the scene where you're you're attacking the tent, you were superb. That was an Oscar-winning performance, I thought. Thank you. I've been practising for ages. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll get more into your how you got into the mindset of the role um, at 
a little bit later on, but I just props to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alex's death scene was, my, I'd say, my highlight of the film. What the bit where he gets where chomped he's getting on, chomped to pieces. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, there's not much left. I know. That... And it was only like a couple of minutes. They've got big, powerful jaws, though, haven't they? They're bears. Yeah. Excellent. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, we kept wondering all the way through if they'd actually all the things because there's there's a scene with the Irish fisherman. Like, yeah, this goes on for a long time. It it's feels, a long bit of yeah. It feels like scene. a scene. Feels like padding. Yeah, um, but it kind of all leads up to this. Which side of the waterfall, waterfall do you go, you go down? <laughs> but then, I mean, it's set up and pays off because at the end she's at the waterfall and she has yep. to pick a side to go down. But she picks a side and she still falls down and breaks her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if she picked the right side because it depends yeah. which way you're looking down the waterfall. Are you looking down that way That's... and then that would be the right side? Yeah. Or you're looking down and thinking the way you're going to go down so you, you're going to make yeah. like you're depends going which down way that. you're going. Then yeah. that would be the right side but that would actually be mm. the left side. Yeah. And they, the, both sides looked identical as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, she I mean... She did all right, I thought. Yeah. It's kind of sap and paid off enough, and it? He says... Well, you know, you go into this nice waterfall, and that's where the film ends. Basically, she gets down the waterfall, hobbles away, finds her canoe, and she's away. Yeah. Well done. What I didn't understand was the fact that he said he was going to take her to this viewpoint where she can see the lake. I'm not being funny. They were on the bloody lake. Yeah. Why didn't you so, canoe to the viewpoint? <laughs> yeah. It's very silly. Yeah. Well, it was all the things that happen are his fault. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, Jen doesn't do anything to she's put them in danger. She's very survivalistic, I yeah. would say, if that's a word. And when she breaks her ankle, she's splinting that. She's trying to tourniquet Alex's leg when a bear's bitten it. Yeah. She she was a lot better in well, that situation. Well, she didn't get much tourniqueting done. Cause, uh, well, no, there wasn't time because no. Betty came back <laughs> and ate him. <laughs> I did, dear, because I wanted to. That's your nature, you know, at the end of the day. Um. Yeah, so not a lot of cons apart from, yeah, all the men in the film were douchebags. Yeah. Um, Although at the end, the guy was mm, a bit of a douche. And, he yeah. was actually showing people. Yeah, I never doubted that. Sight. And at least he ran to help her. But, yeah. I and mean, he didn't really have a choice on that, I suppose. No. But, but um, I don't think he was that bad. Like, I'm sure I he think wasn't he was in real just... life. Plus, um, you know, she was the survivor, so she's the one that gets to tell the story. Mm. So maybe they weren't as bad as all that. Mm. <laughs> and maybe she wasn't as capable as she made up. Well, you never know, do yeah. you? You never know. She did climb up a tree very high mm. to get away from the bear. If you happen to be the lady that this happened to in real life and would like to appear on the podcast... So I bet he won't be here on the day, so <laughs> you won't have any traumatic memories. Um, we'd love to, to hear your side of events for real. Uh, okay, that was the pros and cons. Would you recommend this film? And if so, who to? Um, I probably would recommend it to my dad. He likes a good bear film. Right. What kind of group of people would you recommend it to? Oh, group of people. <laughs> um, maybe some adventurists to mm -hmm. inform them and highlight the fact that bears are dangerous. Yeah. And why sleep in a tent where there are bears when mm. you can sleep in a lodge yeah. or not sleep at all and just go back to your car. Yeah. Or just go canoeing on the yeah. lake. Yeah. I mean, I'm all out for mm. having a... Wander and a walk, but I think stick to the paths mm. and uh, where there's like a little camp means it's probably safe. Yeah. Or fly to the United Kingdom and go camping here because where there are no bears, there's no predators that Although will eat the you. The is not as good, it's not as extensive, but you go no. up to the Highlands, it's amazing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so probably like maybe some adventurists, yeah, people who would. Um, people who have forgotten just how dangerous bears are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be a good good choice. Maybe for children over the age of 15. Yeah. I'd recommend it to horror fans. Um, it is pretty it's good. It's a nice slow burner. It's basically a slasher film. And if you're one of these people that's really into watching gore on screen. Yeah. And you're a little bit disappointed by the current offerings of the horror genre. And there's plenty. There's buckets of gore to enjoy in this film. Um, so that would be my recommendation. Uh, so yeah, um, unsurprisingly, this was a very well received film by critics. 
89% oh. on Rotten Tomatoes from Oh, Chris. that's pretty good. 68 from audiences, so that doesn't surprise me, because it is quite a slow banner. Yeah. There's only really action when the when the bear's eating them. Um, yeah. The rest of the time, it's this yeah nice, tense, Survival. slow build-up. Yeah. Yeah, because you know what's coming. It's like, when I was happen? surprised she survived, happen? to be honest. I was amazed, yeah. I thought she was going to die. I think she ate, that bear ate so much of Adam. But that he didn't want any of her. She was quite jam. skinny, wasn't she? Yeah, that was, um, it had been my criticism right up until towards the end. I was like, she still looks like incredible, even though she's been like mauled by Not her. at the end, though. But at the end, yeah, they finally got, got down to making her look fucking terrible yeah she yeah. was pale when she broke her ankle I was oh like, yeah. yeah she looked awful then yeah she yeah. did just i suppose yeah they haven't actually been in the woods that long so she wouldn't have looked that rough until the bear no. started mauling yeah them. yeah so that's not really a criticism it's nitpicking nitpicking yeah she looked bad when she had to look bad yeah so enough from us let's talk to someone who was involved in the movie betty the bear how are you i'm all right dear good so how was the uh, how was how was the shoot in general for you? I mean, you're a bear, so you kind of live in the woods anyway. But are you more of a domesticated bear, or would you say you're still a woods bear deep at heart? Well, I did enjoy the shooting of the film because not not getting shot by hunters. No, I liked being back in the you know the wild. It was lovely, fresh air, but. I do like my creature comforts, you know, like my bed and, you know, somewhere warm to lay in, no rain. So, do you do you live in the woods full time still, or are you more of a city bear these days? Well, I have, I do, I do live in the woods, but uh, I've got a little hut now, like a little shelter with some leaves on top, and somewhere where I can make my tea. So, you ever lived in LA? No, it's a shithole. Good point. And it's too bloody hot there. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, which part of the film did you enjoy filming the most? Well, I think my talents come out when I uh, had to uh, attack Adam. I thought I worked very well on that. It took me about six months to prepare for that role. I uh, put everything into that. Yeah. That was pretty much my favourite bit. Yeah, I would agree. It was, I'd say it was the highlight of the film. Um, and you were by far the best actor in it. Um, was it Adam McDonald, the director, do you think got the performance out of you? Or did you think your, you actually being a bear allowed you to be a more naturalistic performer? Well, he used to talk to me every morning and say, right, get your, get your head in the game. And I'd be like, okay, boss, you know, I'll do what you want. It's a quite um, hands-on direct. Yeah, he was very good, you know, like, he made sure I looked good, my coat was shiny, and, you know, the old chisel teeth were whitened. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, I don't know much about Adam McDonald, to be fair, but... He's a, he's a good-looking fella, like, you know, he, uh... Yeah, he's good-looking. We really like that sort of type. I I know I'm not gay. Um so yeah, um what you know, whatever floats your boat. Um so, uh would you like to work with Adam again? I mean I'm guessing from what you've said so far you would. I would, but um I don't really think I wanna do another role like that. It was quite aggressive, you know, and I um I prefer a more like Bambi sort of type feel maybe next time. So you'd like to sort of um Shall we say a bit like more a Disney role, that kind of thing, rather than yeah, but, you know, less gung ho, less blood, you know. Maybe some of whom you could sing. Oh yeah, maybe like you know in the Jungle Book that uh, what's that band called? Baloo. Bill Murray was playing that, unfortunately. Um, um. Yeah, he's not even a bear. You know, you think they'd cast a real what, bear? What Tosh? I know. Seen outrageous discrimination, isn't it? You know, oh. it's like how black people don't get nominated for Oscars. What? <laughs> oh, I might have spread it that out a bit. <laughs> no, no. no, no. Alright. Say what? 
obviously there are dis- there is some discrimination against black actors. Do you think there's discrimination against black bears? <laughs> God damn you, boy. Like, I had to, like, go to 50 auditions just to get this part. And they kept saying to me every time, you're not the type of bear we want. And in the end, I just had to go, is it because I'm black? And it's noticeable that into the grizzly maze, there was no black bears. And all the ones that were had already been murdered very early on in the film. It's because it's cause we got the good coats. Like, you know, black is, like, very nice and very shiny, whereas brown kind of looks shows a dirt. I'd agree. I'd agree. Um, who's your favourite of the... I mean, you only really worked with two actors in the film. Who's your favourite of the two? Oh, do you know? What's her name? Oh, uh, the lady who was played by uh, Missy Peregrim. Not a very oh. well-known actor, but she was very good. She was lovely. She used to, like, give me a good old scratch every now and again. And uh, she smelled of flowers. She looked like she smelled of flowers. Yeah, she was lovely. Lovely she was. She liked to scratch. Ooh, soft. Soft, yeah, she looked soft. I didn't, I didn't really want to scratch her, though, you know, like... But she said to me, like, this is what we have to do, so we'll just do it. So before we uh, before we move on, um, would you say you're more of a method actor or a character actor? Uh, a bit of both. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, you are a bear, so playing a bear must be quite easy. Yeah, you know, walk around on all fours, you know, that sort of thing. Scratch against trees, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Back scratch. Well, it's been lovely having you, Betty. Thank you, dear. Can I have a cup of tea now? You most certainly can, and I'll put honey in it for you. Oh, lovely. Okay, well, thank you for joining us. And uh, next time we discuss bear attacks, hopefully we can have you along. Oh, if I'm not filming. Well, yeah, we might talk about the Revenant one day. We're never going to get the bear from that. Oh, I know the bear from that. He is lovely. Yeah, okay. Well, um, maybe put in a good word. Um, who knows, maybe they could talk to Leonardo DiCaprio. We could have Leonardo DiCaprio on the podcast. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see him. Yeah, we Okay, so moving swiftly on to our next film, which was Into the Grizzly Maze by director David Hackle, who uh, may have been a bit of a Hackle director. <laughs> uh, and it starred James Marsden, Cyclops from X-Men. Oh, yeah. Uh, Piper Parabell from. I think it's because that's why I didn't Coyote recognize Ugly. him because mm. he had, normally has he that bar across his face. Wasn't wearing Cyclops glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, says, uh, excuse me, uh, starred Billy Bob Thornton as Douglas the Bear Hunter. Oh yeah, um, he's a good old chap, isn't he? Yeah, he certainly is. He was <laughs> one of the highlights of the film. I uh, remember him looking different, though. He's, yeah, it was only filmed about three years ago, mm. um, and he's getting on a bit now. Yeah, he also had he also had black hair. You used to see him Billy Bob Thornton with grey. Yeah. yeah, that's probably why. Um, but more importantly, it starred our second guest of the day, Bart the Bear. Hello, Bart. Hello, Leah. Thanks for having me on the podcast. Uh, no problem, Bart. Um, someone's grabbed my notebook, so it's going to be. Uh, Oh, oh, right, let's play with the notes. This is unprofessional. Why don't we ask Shush, you a question? Bart. I'm in charge. Let me say so. You're going to ask me a question. You're going to ask me one. I thought we'd do the pros and cons first. You want to go with pros and cons? You want to read that? Oh, yeah, let's do that. So, Pete. Yes, dear. Did you enjoy the film? I most certainly did enjoy Into the Grizzly Maze. Did you? Uh, I thought I liked it just a smidgen more than... I enjoyed it more than Backcountry, even though it was... It was filmed better. Yeah. Uh, yes. It, what, what, and there was more action. I would disagree with... Um... No, not filmed better. I would say <laughs> just... It was filmed far less creatively. But yeah. It had a bigger budget, um, so it did... And there were more yeah. bear attacks in it. Yeah, I, I would agree it was more exciting. Yeah. Uh, but on a technical level and a story level. and Not as In good. terms of the, yeah, whether you got much out of the characters, I would I would say that Backcountry was better in that respect. But Yeah, considering they only had two cameras, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering the budget they had, they made 
what was really a better film than Into the Grizzly Maze. Mm. But because I'm a, you know, I'm, a, I'm just somebody who wants to watch a very exciting film about a bear attack, you get exactly what you expect from Into the Grizzly Maze. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, from the trailer, which is just like hunters shooting guns at bears. That yeah. is essentially the film. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, okay. What was your favourite part and why? Oh, there were so many good parts. Um, I would probably say I enjoyed the very first uh, bear attack. Uh, that was the... Where the loggers are loggers, cutting down it? the trees. And no, there was one before that. Yeah. At you... the cabin. Oh, yeah, but that was that, that was my first criticism of the film. We'll get oh, to that when we okay. get to pros and cons. So, yeah, the second bear attack then, where uh, there's two loggers... And uh, they're shouting over to each other. And then you just see one of their chainsaws just not stuck in the tree, not moving. And he's like, oh, where are you gone? And the bear's got him. And you just see his arm hanging off his chainsaw. <laughs> it was pretty wet. Well, pretty good. Um... Yeah. I thought that was good. Yeah, because you know, early on you, you see the bear, but you don't really see a lot of it. No. It's, that was kind of... It, the only... Uh, I, I, I would say sometimes it doesn't know what it wants to be into the grizzly maze, whether it wants to be like a horror film with a monster or whether it wants to be an action film <laughs> like Jurassic Park said. No, I thought it wanted to be an action film like Jurassic Park. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's, by the end of it, you know that. But at the start, it starts yeah. like a horror film and ends more like Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what was your favourite part? I would say my favourite part was... Well, there was quite a few, actually. I thought all the action bits were very good. Hmm. Like, there was suspense and somebody was obviously going to get eaten. But I did like how she was obviously deaf and she couldn't... So, Michelle, uh, James Marsden's brother's wife, Wife, who's a naturalist... A naturalist? That's oh. that's a nudist, isn't oh, it? No, yeah. that's a naturist. Naturist. Anyway, she's a conservationist yes. <laughs> living out in the woods. Um, and she's Not all like, the time. She just went out that morning, didn't she, to take uh, some photos? She, uh, the, so the brother character's like, she's out on the trail most days. Yeah. So yeah, she's out there a lot. Um, yeah, and she uh, gets attacked by a bear and the brother turns up, James Marsden's character. Just in character, time. Just and in shoots time, at the bear. Blazes at it with his piece. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> what was my favourite part? What was your favourite part? Um, Probably when all the horrible people got their comeuppance. Oh, yeah, that happens early on. Yeah, Cut, I'm yeah. sad that, oh, what's his name, got killed. Well, actually, it turned out he was the main bad guy. No, no, Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, Billy it? Bob Thornton, yeah, no, he was, yeah. Yeah, he was trying to help them, in a way. But yeah. He was um, still trying to kill a bear, I suppose. Yeah, he kind of redeemed himself, yeah. even though he was essentially a bear. I want to know what thing. happened to the pony. He ran away. You yeah. never see it die. I guess no. it just ran off into the forest. Yeah, he'll probably turn up back yeah. at home. Maybe. Billy Bob Thornton had a pony. Yeah. But it escaped, so it was all yeah, good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so, pros right. and cons. Let's move on to the pros and cons. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh uh, yeah, it's a good sort of schlocky movie. Um, what upset me most was the main character from Wind Talkers was in the first scene, and he gets shot in the abdomen, and then the next time oh, you see yeah. him, he's dead up a tree. <laughs> well, he was gonna get eaten yeah. by a bear. I liked him though. I wanted more of him. I was surprised the bear could get up that high though. Well, they said he died, and then his leg was hanging down. Oh. Uh, so the bear just ate the leg. Yeah. Yeah. So that was I was upset there was less from Wind Talker's guy. Yeah. Um, but my first pro is it was yeah, can't fault the script at all. No. Um except yeah, we'll get to that. But yeah, such a excellent by the numbers action movie setup. Yep. You got guy turns up in town, you can he's see He's got a rotten past. Yeah, you can tell he's got a bad past, yeah. but you can instantly see he's a good guy because mm-hmm. he goes out and beats up a pimp. Yeah. And his brother turns up. You can tell he's a good guy straight away. Because he puts him back in the, yeah. in the police car and then he, does. he takes him home. And he's, to he's the nice station. to everyone. So, yeah, you can see that one of them is a rough diamond and the other one's just okay. a straight up square jawed, goody two shoes yeah. kind of guy. And there are two. So, yeah, they are our main characters, really. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. James Marsden and his brother. 
so yeah, brilliant setup. Instant save the cat moment, um, and we know what we're we know what's going to happen. Plus, we've already seen the badass bear. We have before we see point. the brothers. He is huge. So you know, within the first ten minutes, that these two brothers are going to go and fight that bear in the woods, and that it will be the movie, which yes, it is. It is. <laughs> so yeah, great setup. Yeah, randomly um, some girls decide to follow. Wow, well, that well, woman yeah. decides again. To... That's set up quickly though, because. Yeah. yeah, James Marston's brother takes him back to his house and he's like, here's my girlfriend. She's out in the woods. She's like, oh, there's a bear in those woods. She isn't, you know. But he didn't tell him that, did yeah. he? The only, like, that James Marston's love interest has no reason to go with Sully. Yeah. The brother just, just goes, I'm coming with you. And he's like, oh, all right then. <laughs> she has no real motivation for going. Well, she's in love with James Marston, isn't she? But we don't know that. We don't know that no, yet. Until she gets there. So I suppose you find out. Um, so let's find some cons here. You got quite a lot there, darling. Yeah, so they're quite minor though. You claimed that the acting in uh, <laughs> the acting in Into the Grizzly Maze was better than in Back Country. I thought it was a not better. Like it was more cinematic. Yeah, it was more what you expect to see in a film, in a film yeah. especially from a film like. Uh, yeah, you can't fault it. If someone casts you for that and says, right, we're making this film about a giant bear, <laughs> you go, right, here's, right the, no. here's the kind of performance I need to be putting in. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to be wanting to do like Alan Rickman in Robin Hood Prince of Mid, no. <laughs> That wouldn't, wouldn't fit. So yeah, they deliver, they do what they have to do. Yeah. I think they deliver it well. Yeah. Um, I'd say it was exactly like they were trying to make Jaws, but with bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah at times it was almost like a shot for shot remake of Jaws it's like we gotta close all the trails <laughs> so we gotta close all the beaches oh yeah exactly. I never thought yeah. about that um, I was sad when that girl got eaten though which oh yeah, yeah. that's like but you gotta have a few disposable people to get eaten by the bear yeah. you gotta build up the threat yeah so someone had to get eaten by the bear mm. but yeah it was a shame um, yeah it does seem a bit like James Marsden's brother character is there just to tell everyone else what's happening <laughs> a lot of the time. He's like, I've, tra- I've put trackers on all the bears. and All the bears are running away from the bigger bears. <laughs> he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't seem to have much of a character. The other three kind of do. Yeah. Like the deaf girlfriend and yeah. the pathologist. They've all got like histories and stuff. I do feel really bad for her because mm. she can't hear, can she? No. But yeah, like the brother's main thing just seems to be he really likes bears. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't really explain why. I think he wants why. to save them yeah. because they are important. Mm. Uh, yeah, and it kind of sets up because he gets the chance to kill the giant bear quite early on, mm. but chooses not to because he thinks he can like tranquilize it and bring it back. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I say yeah, these are all little nitpicks, really. All the characters are a little bit boring, except for Billy Bob Fortland's character. <laughs> he is great, isn't he? Yeah. He's like, he's going to get you. He's the standout performance. It's Billy Bob Fortland as a, a bear hunter. And his face was hanging off. Oh, yeah. He gets clawed in the face right oh. at the end of the film, and it's pretty gory. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Plus the uh, bit which the uh, the pathologist lady gets a big splinter of wood in her oh. leg. That was yeah. a good scene. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah <laughs> you pointed that out actually uh, the bit where uh, Rowan the main character he's like right I'm gonna fend the bear off while you free escape oh yeah and then he just runs away and falls in the river and then, oh, no. then the bear like just yeah he doesn't actually do anything he misses all of the shots he has at the oh, bear no. and then falls in the river and doesn't do anything <laughs> because the bear will only chase him for as long as mm. He's bothered, otherwise he'll just go after the easy pickings. Yeah. One's deaf. Not that I'm saying she's easy picking, mm. but she can't hear properly. No. And the other one's had a splinter for her leg. Well, not a splinter. <laughs> a piece of wood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good Good special effects for the injuries. Mm. Uh, just like in Backcountry. Yeah. Very convincing. Um, and I've written twice uh, that I really enjoyed Bart's performance. Uh, so, Bart, you know. Um, Hands down, mate. Well, thank you very much. You know, as a bear, it's uh, not easy to get work sometimes, but when I do, I, I'm giving my all. Did you uh, work out a lot, Bart? Well, when you're a bear my size, you don't really need to work out. You just need to eat. <laughs> what about the old belly fat? Bears need belly fat. When you 
actually are where they need to be fat. Well, uh, yes, I agree, Bart. Um, but I would say I have one final criticism. Uh, the film just ends. <laughs> there's no, yeah, like there's, look, they kill the they kill the bear, and, and, and then, then the credits begin. <laughs> it's like I was like, yeah, all right, brilliant. That's I suppose it. it's for you to That's make your own ending that. up, though, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah, Back to, like... yeah, more de la Otea theory. <laughs> <laughs> and those are my pros and cons. Oh. Um, uh, so I it just leaves us to say whether we would recommend this film. Would you yeah. recommend this film, dear? And what groups of people would you recommend it to? Um, maybe couples who want a bit of you know, if you're going out with a girl and. Mm. You want her to cuddle up to you? Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone, really. Yeah, it's as a long good... as you're old enough to yeah. withstand, withstand the a, a little bit gore of a little bit. Peril and gore. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a very by-the-numbers action schlock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's pretty good. Yeah, you got a spell. It's not too violent, no, but not it is at all. Yeah. a bit gory. Yeah, at times. you got a spare afternoon, stick it on. It's on yeah. YouTube, you can rent it for two ninety five in the UK. Yeah. It's probably free for everyone else in the world. Probably. Use a VPN and just steal it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really worth paying for. If it pops up in a bargain bin, pick it up. Yeah, it's it, a good... It's worth a look. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's an absolutely fine film. So, let, again, let's talk to someone who was on the set, uh, who was involved in the production. Let's have some questions for Bart. So, Bart. Hello. Are you ready, dear? I'm always ready. How was the shoot for you? Shoot was good. She was in my backyard. Shoot was out in the woods. That's where Bart belongs. Anything else? I don't know what else there is to say. Did you have to have a wash every day? I don't wash much. When I go out in the, in the river to eat fish, fish them out with my mighty claws, I get all the washing I need. Okay then. And. Which part of the film, Bart, did you enjoy filming the most? I enjoyed eating the lagers. Cause they you didn't it. really eat them, though. Oh, I ate them. I ate them up good. I'm a method actor. What you see on the screen is what happened. I ate Billy Bob Thornton. Have you seen Billy Bob Thornton in anything since? <laughs> yeah, that's my point. I eat Billy Bob Thornton. At least we fed you today. We fed you some marshmallows. I love marshmallows. That'll keep you going. Um. Billy Bob Thornton tasted like syphilis. I thought you were gonna say chicken then. He tasted like a syphilitic chicken. <laughs> <laughs> um. How was the director for you, Mr. David? David Hackle. Hackle, yeah. <laughs> that guy's a hack. <laughs> I had to do a lot of directing myself, especially when oh, it came really? to shooting my scenes. Yeah, Bart the Bear is the kind of bear that you need to shoot from many angles. I'm a very large, powerful creature. Sexual creature. And therefore, many cameras are needed to take in all my movements. Okay. What do you think of the critics? 36% on Rotten Tomatoes. That uh, was bullshit. But when you got a bad director and a pretty weak cast, what do you expect? I mean, I have to say, you were a very good bear. I have an excellent bear. I'm the greatest bear actor that ever lived. So, the question then. Would you like to work with this director again? I would never work with David Hackle again. Mm. I haven't worked in the movies ever since Into the Grizzly Man. Well, I think you did a stunning performance. Like, it would be hard to top it. I agree. I mean, what more do you want from a bear in a movie? I eat people, I eat animals. I'm a bear. You did kill a lot of moose as well. Moose? Meese. Herds of meese. <laughs> I eat them all. And those are my words. When people have a Bart's words, Bart eats them. Yeah, but you didn't eat them really, you left them to rot. I eat all the juicy, delicious bits. Oh, yeah, just like the, like the liver or the. Heart or... Yeah. Something. I eat all the juicy, delicious bits. <laughs> just like I said. Um, who was your favourite actor to work with? Well, as I said, 
and uh, probably Billy Bob. Not only was he delicious and syphilitic, he is one of the finest actors, I think, of his generation. If you need a man to sound like he lives in the country. Then you West just... country. Well, the West country of the United Kingdom, that's not what Billy Bob Thornton is. Is he British? Billy Bob Thornton is not British. Oh. He is from the South of America. Oh, okay. I would say... Hesitate. Like Miami. Oh, well, that is in the South. <laughs> would assume he is from Texas. Oh, yeah. But I don't know that for sure. I mean, we Maybe. Didn't. We had, might put the accent on. We had very few scenes together, apart from when I ate him. And then, well, uh, you took his face off first. Well, you know, his face was quite old, old, and quite old and not delicious. So oh. I tore it off with my mighty claws, and then I ate his brain. Oh, I did see that bit. That was the good part. Did you see my you mighty jaws snapping down on his head? I thought that was the other dude. I, yeah. ate, I ate many, many dudes in this movie. One of them was Billy Bob Thornton. And he was your favourite then? He was the favourite to work with. I liked the parts where he wore a long trench coat. Mm, yeah. Well, did you enjoy those scenes also? I liked... All, well, I liked the suspense, especially when old what's his face, not old, the other chap, the brother, is yes. meant to be on watch, and he gets in the tent. There was a pretty lady in that tent. And then the bear attacked. I do. I saw what was going on. You see, oh. I was like, oh, I'm not going near that camp because James Marston is going to wait there. He's going to shoot me if I do. But then James Marston got cold. James Marston got horny. James Marston got in the tent with that pretty lady. And for now is my time to strike. Did you notice I immediately made a grab for the pretty girl and not James Marston? Yeah. Easy pickings, though. Easy pretty pickings, that's for sure. Do you have any more questions for me? I don't. Because it is still winter time. I have to come out of hibernation. I think you should. You can go back to hibernation now. Thank Thank you you very much much for your time. Where Where is my fee? Oh, well, we've got your track, don't worry. Superb. Thank you for having me here to do a wonderful podcast. It's a pleasure. Anytime. As long as it's summertime. Toodles, then. Goodbye. All right, bye, Bart. Thanks for joining us. He was a good guest, wasn't he? Yeah, they both were. Well, they yes. left together, which makes me think... Horny bears. And Bart is quite a... Magnet. A brown and a black yeah, bear, though. Well, who says multiracial bear couples can't be well, a thing? Well, it's up to them. Bart's a magnificent creature. Did you see the size of him? He was huge. Yeah. We had to move furniture out of the way, widen the doorway to I get know. in. We need a bigger studio, really. Yeah, we do, really. Well, that's about all, all we've got time for this yes. week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it also. Um, and yes, a little more to say on the subject of bear attack movies. Except, which one did you prefer? Um... I would say I like them both for different reasons, but I did prefer the Grizzly Maze. I also preferred Into the Grizzly Maze, even yeah. though, yes, Backcountry is a technically better film. Yeah, but it was more cinematic. It's less entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> there's only one bear attack. Yeah, that is true. Whereas... One more impressive bear attack, but... I don't think one better bear attack is as good as multiple, multiple. less impressive bear attacks. <laughs> so uh, if I would, yeah, go see, well, go see, find both these films. Yes. They're both out there on the internet. Watch them both. They are very, very good. And that is our recommendation. So as thank usual. Thank you very much for joining yeah, us. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Yes, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. So, Fran, you're on Instagram. Francis Langhelt, as usual. And I am on Twitter, as are you. I am at Pete Langhelt, Langhelt spelt L-A-N-G-H-E-L-T. Yes, and you are at F Langhelt. Well, Francis, yes. Your, your Twitter handle's at F Langhelt. Oh, is it? I believe so. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you can tell I don't go on there very yeah. often. So, yeah, if you're going to find us on Twitter, I'm probably the guy to talk to. 
Um, you can email me at uh, petelanghelt30 at gmail.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you've got any movies you'd like us to watch, watch and talk yes. about, anything like that, please do get please. in touch. Don't we like for- recommendations. Yeah. If you're a writer, don't forget you can send um, uh, sketches for Sketch a Bit to that email address. There will be a new episode of Sketch a Bit out this week. Uh, the week just gone by was yeah the last episode of uh, investigations the of the Oddly Strange. Stories, so there yeah. won't there won't be one next week. It is finished, and it will also be coming off Podbean because I don't want to leave it on there for too long. Uh, but I'll be moving over to our YouTube channel where you'll be able to watch it or from from it. next week. Yeah, it will be watched and listenable from Lovely. There. So that's all we have time for this week. Goodbye. Good night. Bye, 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 b